Hi everyone, my name is Maya Widyada Mayanti. I'm from TBI3. Today I will tell a story about Rapunzel. Long ago, a queen and king had a baby doctor named Rapunzel with golden hair, blue eyes, long nose, thin lips, and cute face. What her default parents didn't know was that Rapunzel got her hair contained magical healing power. A selfish old woman named Mother Gato knew of the magic in Rapunzel hairs and want it to keep herself young so she kidnapped the baby and raised her in a tower deep in the woods never telling her that she was a princess as Rapunzel hair grew and grew she loved gazing out the tower window at the light that floated in the night sky every year on her birthday. She longed to leave the tower and see them up close, but Mother Gatel refused. Meanwhile, a young thief named Flynn, Flynn Rider, had stolen something special from the king's castle and the royal guard were, were after him. Suddenly, he showed the perfect hiding place, a tower. In a brick colored old tower, somewhere hidden, and the atmosphere was pouring. When Flynn Rider cleaned into the tower, Rapunzel knocked him out with a frying pan. Then she secretly inspected the satchel he carried. Inside, Rapunzel found a sparkling gold object. It was so familiar. Flynn Rider awoke and found himself teeth in to a chair with Rapunzel's long golden hair. Rapunzel pointed to her painting the floating light. Tomorrow was her 18th birthday. Evelyn took her to see the light. She she turned she returned his satchel. After after Flynn agreed to help Rapunzel used her hair to climb down from the tower. She'd never been outside before, but when her feet touched the grass, Rapunzel narrowly burst with excitement, exclaiming, Woohoo! Rapunzel and Flynn enjoyed their adventure, but they were being cast. Mother God always lot looking for them. The royal guard were after Flynn, and so were his angry partner in crime. They wanted the crown. They passed, and Rapunzel and Flynn managed to escape their pursuers. Pursuer. One morning, Rapunzel saw breathing sight, a beautiful kingdom with a castle sitting high above. She headed straight on it. In the town, Rapunzel was drawn to a painting of the king, the queen, and their baby, who was known as the lost princess. The child had golden hair and blue eyes just like her. Flynn wrote Rapunzel out to view the floating lights, which were actually lanterns. Flynn gave 
Rapunzel her own lantern to send into the night, and she written the crown. Then the couple gazed into each other's eyes. They were falling in love. Later, Flynn and Rapunzel were spirited. Mother got out to Rapunzel that Flynn had only wanted the crown, but she realized that Mother Gatel was l- lying. Rapunzel knew now that she was the lost princess. Suddenly, Flynn arrived to rescue Rapunzel, but Mother Gatel hurt him badly. She wanted Rapunzel to stay with her forever. If she did, she allowed Rapunzel to heal Flynn, but before Rapunzel could act, Flynn cut off her hair with lost the magic. Without the magic, Mother Gatel quickly acted and turned to dust. Rapunzel was no free, but flying was dying. You were my new dream, he whispered. Uh, one of Rapunzel's tears fell on Flynn and began to glow and healed him. Flynn brought Rapunzel back to the castle. The king and the queen and king rushed to embrace their lost princess. That night, the entire kingdom celebrated he written by launching hundreds of lanterns the like that had greeted her home. Thank you for watching my video. Bye.